Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I've put together a Valentine lookbook for you. I went through my closet and picked out love, comfy, casual, cozy, inspired outfits for you that you can wear, activity you have to do for Valentine's Day. So I hope you get inspired and enjoy my few outfit picks. First outfit I have for you are just my Wild Fable mom jeans. Get these in a size 12 and they are super cropped on me so I usually pair them with my Madden Girl little suede boots I have with a nice chunky heel. And then I also threw on my airy cardigan. It does have pockets. I got the cardigan in a size small or medium. I'll put it on the screen. And then underneath I just have a little cropped cami from Airy because if you button it up like I wouldn't need the cami but then I feel like things are hanging out so I just have on a little cami so it looks a little more dressed up when you have it buttoned and I think it buttons really well it has a very nice like shape to it and nice sleeve length on me and I also paired it with these little dangly earrings from American Eagle they're kind of a burgundy pink color and I thought that you no know, you don't have to always go red you can go more burgundies or pink so I just thought it looked really nice with the cream sweater and the neutral like boots just give that little pop of Valentine's if you're not super into like the reds and the pinks. For the second outfit, I when I was thinking of Valentine's outfits, I was like, what would be, not like anti-Valentine, but what would be, you know, like you want, you like Valentine's, but it's maybe not your color palette and you lean more towards black or it's just a little more edgy, but you still want your honey to take you out. So I thought like all black. So I have on my Wild Fable, I think they're mom jeans too. They're just distressed black jean in size 12 again. I have on my little Timberland super light slip on hiking boots. This is also a little Wild Fable rib sweater. Um, I did get this in a size large so it was not like super fitted but this is the exact sweater I had in mind when I thought of this outfit. It was just a little like black v-neck with like the rib print on it and then I thought the one thing that would just like top off this all black outfit would just be some super cool like big red earrings so I just have on the leather teardrop earrings that I got off of Etsy forever ago. I would really like like a red lip. I don't have a good red like true red lipstick that looks good on me and then my would have painted my fingernails red also but I was trying to go a little more neutral for all the outfits but if I were to wear <laughs> this like specifically for a valentine's function I would do all red accessories nail polish lipstick you know just to make that like red pop but then you just kind of have your black outfit that you're used to wearing I'm not a huge black shirt kind of person I don't no, think the color maybe is the best on me but when I was thinking about outfits for this this is just an outfit that came to mind that I thought would be so fun and a little different and a little edgy especially if you had like a little moto jacket that you could throw on over it this is probably only going to be 30 here on Valentine's Day second outfit my little edgy anti-Valentine's outfit the third outfit I feel is like a comfy casual outfit but you still want to look a little cute maybe a little sexy so what's sexier than like just a plain white tee you got tucked into your jeans i think that is just such a staple and such a like just a simple classic little cute sexy kind of piece and then i paired it with just my soft knit mom jeans from american eagle i have on my clog little Sherpa shoes from American Eagle. This sweater is from Airy and in a size medium. This is an, just an Airy v-neck. You can get a v-neck anywhere. And then these are just some gold little necklaces that I thought looked cute with the v and kind of dressed it up a little bit that I got from Fat Fit Fun. And then you can kind of like slick your hair back or put it up in a ponytail whatever you would like to do and then you just have a simple little valentine's outfit and then you know you add the touch of pink you could have a red cardigan or whatever you would like i just thought the pink was just simple and cute and there you're ready for your little simple day not out after a day of work so here's my fourth out for it for you you knew i had to throw in a comfy 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 outfit for you. So I just have on my black velvet joggers from Old Navy. I do, I do these, I do wear these in a medium tall. I just threw on my like furry slippers from Soma and then this is that sweatshirt I got off of Etsy that just says XOXO. It is um I think a vinyl so it kind of turned a little pink when I washed it. That's okay. 
this is more than likely what I will wear for Valentine's Day. My husband and I took the day off using a personal day and we're just gonna have a brunch at Perkins, maybe do a face mask, maybe go to Aldi and you know, just hang around the house and we'll see what else he wants to do and just enjoy the day together until the kids come home and we'll probably have our heart-shaped pizza from Papa Murphy's like we always do. I thought about vlogging, but we will see. But I had to throw this in here because you know, this is kind of my style. I usually wear just comfy casual. I love these velvet joggers. They just feel so lush. Of course, I threw my hair in my messy bun because that's how I like it. And then I just have on these little heart earrings I got from American Eagle. So just my super casual comfy outfit. So the fifth outfit I feel is like a day to night outfit. could easily wear this to work, be all ready, and then if you want to go out after work and not have to go home and change, or you know you're going out with your friends from work so you just go right after. Something like that but it's still like comfy and casual and everything. You could dress it up with like a chunkier necklace, you know, put on some more glamorous lipstick. I mean, even put on like more heels with it. So the outfit is, these are some new Stretch Mom corduroys that I got from American Eagle. They are in a 12 long and they are color red. Technically they're kind of a red brown. And then I just threw on my universal thread little mules that kind of have the Sherpa on them. And then this is in a new day top. I got in the fall that transitions beautifully for spring. And I just thought it was kind of monochromatic, but not exactly. Like I'm not wearing all pink, I'm not wearing all red. But I think the tones work well together. I don't know, it's just when I was thinking through outfits, I was like, Really wanted to wear this pink sweater, but I just didn't want to throw on a pair of jeans with it. I just thought that was a little too simple. So I thought throwing on these corduroys that I just got would be fun. I used to wear corduroys all the time in high school and early college. So it just feels good to have a pair back in my wardrobe. I just like how it looks. And then I just threw on some fun gold earrings. My work to your night out outfit. So the sixth and final outfit, I grabbed this sweater that I got at Christmas time because it's a very Christmassy candy cane kind of sweater. And then when I was thinking about this, I was like, you have all those red sweaters, the red and white, or you know, the fun sweaters you bought for Christmas that are, don't have Santa Claus on them or something like that. Perfect for Valentine's Day, perfect red color. So I grabbed this out and I just paired it with my soft knit mom jeans again, grabbed my man and girl boots. Just thought that made it a little more fun, a little better for a night out. Threw on this comfy, cozy sweater. I did wash it, obviously, because I wore it for Christmas time, and it had little like red fuzzies all over it. It is from Airy or American Eagle. It's a size medium, I'm pretty sure. So you will have to lint roll it if you have this sweater and you washed it. Just be aware you're gonna have little red fuzzies all over. I think I washed it by itself. So there's that. But this is a very like brook outfit. If I was you know, didn't love to be comfy in my velvet pants. I would totally be wearing this. And then I just threw on those little red heart earrings again and my red heart headband I picked up from American Eagle just to like, you know, valentine it up. I think you would look very valentine without the extra little accessories, but, and it's just like, this sweater is so comfy cozy. It's like I said, it's still winter here where I live. <laughs> if you live somewhere where it's a little warmer, I'm sorry, your sweater's probably gonna be a little hot. But for me, it's perfect to transition those red and whites and kind of creamy sweaters from fall to Christmas all the way into Valentine's and then away we go. So my last little outfit. Well, there were my six Valentine outfits for you. I hope you got some inspiration if you were just like, oh, what do I wear on Valentine's this year? Obviously, I like to shop at American Eagle, Airy, Target, and Old Navy, and then my shoes I get here and there. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some inspiration. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's down in the comments. I really want to know. Let me know if you'd like to see a vlog of what the hubs and I get up to on Valentine's Day. And remember to hit that like button, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.